Hello everybody and welcome back to another modded character showcase. This is another character that was part of the Dungeons and Dragons mod jam. We are playing as Eren here who starts with the Packs of the Flame and is some sort of spell casting type character I believe. Um, on the description for the character it kind of goes into a little bit of detail about some of the stuff you can come across. Um, the Pact of the Flame is a book that upon use casts a spell from the inventory and at the beginning you'll start with two for each floor we can expand our inventory by one more spell. Uh, spells will cost you mana and it is limited. Um, each floor will have three random restrictions which act uh, similar to base game curses. Instead of providing a punishment they take away one of your core abilities. In the journey through the basement we'll see a lot of familiar looking special rooms but they act differently. For example, devil rooms will provide us with more spells, and shops will be able to refill our mana and uh, our health, and treasure rooms will be able to find some money. So, very interesting, quite different. Um, this was made in just two weeks, so another character that, um, as I said, was part of the mod jam, um, the Dungeons & Dragons mod jam, that um, has cr came, with, came up with something really, really cool. Um, I'm really enjoying testing out some of these custom characters, and these mod jam things... If they create quality content like this, then I'm all for it and I'd love to see more of them. Um, I've not really heard of many mod gems in The Binding of Isaac, to be honest. Um, so, I unlocked Tarnished Isaac, apparently, there, <laughs> which is strange. So, I start with... Um, these. So, these are my three restrictions up here, I believe. Um, which, this looks to be a broken heart, this looks to be a broken burn, and this looks to be a head... Um, we've also got our mana and our two abilities. We've got Hellish Rebute and Armor of Agathes. Agathes? Okay, interesting. And we also have this, whatever this is. Your prayers were heard. Interesting. So we've just sacrificed some HP for something. I'll be honest, I do not know what, but this character is going to be a lot of experimentation. Ah, I think that removed one of our restrictions up here, um, by the looks of it. So we'll use Packs of the Flame here, and the Hellish Rebuke there, wow, okay, so that just did a lot of damage to the entire room. Interesting. And then the Armor of Agathus. Let's see what this does. So that uh, gives... A little fire ability here, but it also gave us some fire around us. Okay, that's a charge of ability. And then we're, we're about to be out of mana, but we can use this through walls to deal some extra damage. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, good. Seems that room drops are getting taken away from us. So that might be one of our uh, our restrictions here. Um, in here, we just get some money, which apparently is going to be very useful for us. Um, the Hellish Rebuke seems like the best ability for us right now. Um, I don't know if we want to be saving up mana for the boss or if we can just use this. I'm going to just use it, I think. Okay, it just sets things on fire. Uh, obviously, lower HP enemies kind of get insta-killed by it. And now if we try and use either of these, yes, we don't have enough mana to use them, so we are unable. Uh, but this seems like a really fun character thus far. Thus far. Also, this enemy, like, reborned itself, and we don't have that curse. So I'm imagining that's part of our restriction thing that we've got going on here. Also, oof. This room is looking yucky. Truly yucky. One of our abilities seems to just be, yeah, that enemies can be reborn. I, oh no. I really, really do not like this enemy. <laughs> it's one of those enemies that's like, if there's one of them, it's fine. But there's always like six. And they're just, oh, they're such a pain. It's, it's mainly because the ghosts, like bounce off of your shots as you hit them. The knockback just, like, drives them crazy. Um, so yeah, it looks like we're not getting room drops at all, but we can come here and we can pay 10 cent to rest. It'll unlock the bed. And this will give us the ability to, um, fully refill our health and fully refill our mana. Very nice. Now, the armor, I'm unsure if there's any use to uh, to proccing that ability more than once. It's hard to know. And I'm going to guess that our mana refills upon en entering the next floor. So we'll, we'll find that out, I guess. But first of all, we'll start with our armor here and get a hit going. And then we'll do one of those. I will try and do the armor again and just see. It doesn't seem like it does anything unless it maybe... Oh, no, it does. It, spe it drastically speeds up the charge speed of our uh, ability. Really nice, really nice. 
This is yet another item that um, I feel like the book itself could be released as a standalone. Oh, lovely. Could be released as a standalone thing and be really, really like a, a huge mod because it seems pretty all encompassing. Obviously, it depends on how many spells are available, but only with these two fire based spells that we've got thus far, I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm imagining that, that they're almost entirely going to be fire based with it being called Pact of the Flame. Um, this is a new item. Um, unfortunately, the thing covers up this. It says something stats. Love up. All stats up. Uh, we also got a devil deal here. Um, Eternal Bane and the Magic Circle. Elemental Bane, sorry. And the Magic Circle. Um, I think we'll go for... Uh, also, we gained some extra mana here. I think I'm going to go for the Elemental Bane here. That did not cost us any HP, I don't think. But now we've got a new ability to play around with. So we're going to go to the floor. Let's see if these symbols above us change. And let's see if we refill our mana upon going to the next floor. Because I'm curious about both those things. I feel like both are plausible, but I, I, I'm i not entirely sure. Let's find out. So the, ma the mana is refilled. And our abilities are re-rolled. Okay. Okay. Good to know. It's a little unclear what each ability does, I'll be honest. Um, the abilities there are a little hard to read. But... Yeah, uh, so the Elemental Bane here. Let's uh, let's find a room that's, that's worthy of this and try it out. This is probably a good one. Okay, so that just... Okay, that's pretty interesting. It just applies a random elemental effect onto every single enemy, which seems pretty useful. Also, uh, I'm not quite sure what happened there. I'm guessing that's one of our abilities. Okay, so I'm seeing that the third ability, the one that I'm stood on here, is a Cracked Crown. I'm guessing this just means that we're unable to enter our item room which is a little bit of a shame because now we spent a key and we don't get to get the money i think elemental bane is going to be one we want to use often especially considering it can turn things to gold although it didn't give e elemental effects to either of these enemies but that might have been because they were in the sky at the time of me using it i'm unsure but any any room with a lot of enemies i think we want to be using this on um and i think this is going to be a good source of us using our mana. Now, I think the character's going to be a little bit limiting early on. We should try and destroy this poop before they uh, get wind of it. Um, I feel like this character's going to be a little bit limiting early on, just because you've got, obviously, the, the, the fairly large restriction of, like, not much money and not much mana, so it's hard to refill your mana. Um, but I feel like late game, this character could... Oh, that was a really bad hit there. We might end up dying here. But if we do, we kind of know what we're doing now and we can go for a restart. Um, I do not mind that at all. Now that we kind of understand the idea. And also, I'm guessing we start with randomized uh, spells each turn. Like each single time we play. Uh, and I, I am also interested to see with Elemental Bane here that um, the, all the spells aren't fire-based. I, I expected, because of the name, uh, or the naming convention, should I say, of the uh, of the book, that we'd only be seeing um, elemental, ba uh, sorry, fire-based um, fire spells, but it's good to see that that's not the case. Okay, this is probably a room where we could die, so let's try and be as careful as we can be, but I'll be honest, that's not really my strong suit. Uh, Nice. Okay, so we don't have enough for a bed. We don't have a key anyways. It's techno pin as well, so good luck to me. Oh my god, how did I not get hit there? I'm not liking having these hands about. Okay, I need to get somewhere that's going to be a little safer for me here, because that won't grip. You're not going too bad right now. Still not confident to say that I'm definitely going to beat you. Okay, we did. Okay, so it seems that we get this as our item every time. So it seems that this character is a very standalone thing in that we aren't going to be seeing... Um, okay, we've got Magic Circle this time. In that we aren't going to be seeing um, normal items at all. So Magic Circle here. Lovely. We got another ability. That that seems like something that's going to give us some sort of protection against enemies. 
Um, I think next we definitely need to save up for a shop to refill our HP. Um, very interesting though that it's very self-contained. Here we have three unknown curses. Let's try this out. Okay, so no, this is... This is like the um, black powder idea. Uh, probably not a great thing to use in that room there. I think, honestly, Elemental Bane is going to be our main go-to. But we really only want to be using it on rooms with multiple enemies. Because um, I feel like the main power in it comes in being able to get more money and such. Gotta save our key right now. That is not very good, I don't think. Actually, I suppose it is decent because we do get a good amount of money here. Um, let's use Hellish Rebuke on this room. Lovely. Don't stop dropping my trinket. God damn it. Okay, not a good one here. Uh, Elemental Bane here. Oh, God. Oh, for... Okay, let's restart. I didn't realize that the creep was, like, covering that little pathway. I saw where it was, but I thought I could slip by it. I could not. That is entirely my bad. So, no, we do start with the same abilities here. Um, I don't need to do this this time. At least until I understand the curses more. Um, I don't think I need to do this. This is definitely a good room for this. Only starting with three mana here means that we uh, really shouldn't be using anything until the boss. Do not like the idea of this room. Luckily, these enemies are actually not that hard. Oh, bugger, and I still get hit by one of them because I'm an idiot. Gaining HP is definitely going to be the sort of largest problem with a run like this. It seems you only get five cent from a from an item room as well, which is pretty low, to be honest. I was expecting a little more than that. But I suppose when a bed is a full mana and a full heal, that's pretty good. But yeah, I kind of, I kind of like the idea that this character is very standalone. Like, you don't really get many of those, uh, or many of those types of things in Isaac, where people sort of use Isaac more as a, as a basis to then build something new off of, rather than... Ooh, okay, what's, what's this? So this this is another item here that is a full heal. Okay, that gave us a soul heart, and yeah, it says a, it says a full heal, but it didn't fully heal my red heart, so I'm a little confused on the wording there. I'm going to use this here, just because this room seems annoying. Um, go away. Good, good, good. Weird that a sack can even spawn and not give me it. I want to see if I can get Plum Flute here. I'm curious. Because I feel like there's a potential for this being an oversight. Even though I want mana and I want the, the stuff that that can give me, I'm very curious to see how the game deals with Plum Flute. Is it instantly replaced? Does it still spawn? Does it, will it just not let me pick it up? I'm, I'm curious. Because I feel like this is going to be an oversight that the developers didn't think about. And you can still get Plum Flute, even though you're not supposed to be able to. No, no, they did think about it. Okay, 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 okay. Um, we've got Chaos Rupture or Witch's Ball. I'm gonna go for the Chaos Rupture, that sounds very fun. I wonder if I can bomb this statue. That's something I'm gonna have to try if I get the ability. So Chaos Rupture, I think, is gonna be the next thing that we, that we focus on here. It seems really good. Um... I, I, understanding these abilities is really rough. I'm guessing this one's something to do with a shop. I don't know what this is, and I, that looks like a broken heart. It's, it's, it's hard to tell with some of these, so. Chaos Rupture. Oh, that's, that's Elemental Bane. Oh, wait. Okay, 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 okay. I think I get it. I think Chaos Rupture can literally just be any spell. I think the idea is that it's just a random spell. Yep. Instant Rest. I'm not sure what that did. I think that reset my mana, maybe? Not the right room for this. Lovely. Yeah, I don't know why chests and stuff can still spawn. Oh, I actually did get a bomb there. Interesting. Okay. Kill. That's pretty good. I don't think I want to be using that right now. 
Okay, I'm liking Chaos Rupture. Obviously, the randomness of it does make it a little hard to truly utilize because we don't know what we're getting. But honestly, every spell seems good. There's a, there's a few that are more situational than others, but I don't think there's any bad spells. So overall, I like. Right. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, this isn't doing damage to them. Oh, no, it is, it is, it is. Get over here, you two. Wait, no, no, it's not. I'm confused. What does the, what does the packed thing do, then? Come up, dude, come up. Hmm. Okay, it just didn't let me use the bomb. It let me grab it, didn't let me use it. Black chests have been unlocked, great. So we know what the circle does. This time let's take Cause Fear. I mean, I feel like Cause Fear is gonna be fairly self-explanatory here. I would very much like a full heal if I can grab one, so let's try and get one. Do not like this situation here. There's creep there? How was I meant to know that? Like, I realized that enemy does drop creep, but there was no visible creep. So that's kind of, kind of not fair. There's our money. Ooh, okay, that gave us quite a lot of money that time. That was good. That was very good. Okay, I'm just, I just want to check how, how cause fear works. Okay, cause fear does, I was wondering, does it also do damage? It very much does also do damage. Cause fear seems good. Considering we're getting a full heal here, I'm willing to check this out. Right, back we go. As long as the actual bed costs the same amount as it did before, which I'm going to imagine it does. Although, didn't think about the fact that we have a curse here. Damn it, I was like, maybe it'll just be that it won't sell any items. No, no, no. We can't get into our shop. That is such a huge pain in the ass. Okay. Um, I've made a boo-boo. I've made a mistake. I guess I just hold out until my next shop. If I can survive that long, that is. Bollocks. Okay. These, these ability removal things can be quite tricky. It'd be nice if there was other ways to um, to remove those restrictions other than just sacrifice rooms. Right, Curse of the Maze does not help. Um, this is going to be a struggle bus for us, I think. That is not what I'm looking for. Cause fear. Honestly, I'm going to be using cause fear a good amount here because I just need pure damage. Excuse me, I got blasted into like the wrong room there. What even happened? Okay, nice. Honestly, any room where we can use it, just use it. Not a fan of this. More money is good. Oh, bugger! We got the goddamn shop curse again! That's such... Oh, that's... No, I don't like that. I shouldn't be able to get that curse multiple times in a row. I have no other way to heal. Like, shops are my only, only method of healing. So I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> Oh, well, that was very nice. <laughs> Shadow Blade. I like the idea of that, too. Okay. You will pay for this. That did work. I had to find out, and it did work. Um. Oh, nice. Okay. We've got an actual tab thing here. 
Uh, you shall not visit shops. You shall not collect most pickups. You shall not encounter consumables. Ah, that's why we've not been getting consumables. Okay, Shadow Blade just gives a spirit sword for the room. I like that. Okay, down we go. Right, we actually have a way of seeing our curses here. That was my bad. And it seems we've got more curses now as well, so... You shall not visit shops again. Wow, that's a really brutal one, that. Um, you shall not cause destruction. You shall not encounter consumables. You shall not visit treasure rooms. Wow. Some of these are rough. Um, honestly, let's use cause fear again. Just to clear some rooms out. Can't use bombs. Cause fear again. We have quite a lot of mana now. I'm just... The, the not being able to go to the shops thing is is really rough. Three floors in a row, not being able to access the shop is... It's basically spelling out our demise. But it, this explains now why I wasn't able to pick up consumables, because that was part of our rule set. I didn't actually realise that at the time. I thought that was just what the character did. It's interesting to note. I like the fact that we've got, like... Uh, uh, basically an all stats up at the end of every floor as well. That's quite nice. Calls fear is just so goddamn good. Right. Can't get into that shop anyways. Get to the other side of the room before we pop these guys open. I don't even know if health can drop for us. I'm, I'm looking for it, but I don't even know if it's plausible. And then we use Chaos Rupture on the boss again and hope for that same one as last time, because that one was amazing. We got Summon Lesser Demon. Oh, we got a uh, Incubus. Nice. That's pretty good. Okay, I'm trying to focus up here to make sure I don't get hit. Nice. Right, if you give me don't get don't be able to go in shops again, I'm gonna be very mad. Where's the enemy? Where's the enemy? Okay, there you are. And here we got Hex. Hex was the, the Brimstone one, wasn't it? Right, let's get gone. I got it again! You cannot visit shops, are you kidding me? That's so brutal. What the hell am I meant to do here? Okay, that is nice. I like that. Okay, I have kept my Incubus for some reason. I'm not entirely sure as to why that is. I'm very, I'm, I'm very happy about it. But I don't know if that's intentional. We summoned a lesser demon from our um, Chaos Rupture. And it's just kind of allowed us to keep it. I'm, I'm happy about, but confused about Two of hearts. Wow. We got half a heart out of that. Interesting rune design. Um. How do I... Okay, there you go. I was like, how the heck do I activate this guy? I got it. Oh, come on now. Just rude. Okay. Oh, bugger. There was a really rough enemy there for me. Something's wrong. 
I'm going to say it. I think, I think for how little health I've been given over the past while, we're not doing too bad here. I'll say that and die immediately now, won't I? Not that we're doing too bad, considering the game just refuses to let me heal. <laughs> there should be a limit to how many times it's allowed to give you that. Please say there's a bed in here. Oh my god, there's a bed. I don't even know if the dirty beds fully heal you. I'm pretty sure they do. It does. Okay. Oh. My lord, this has been a struggle bus. Wow. But, I will say, because of the abilities that we've had, and the struggle that we've had to endure, it's been an interesting run. The hex thing is so strong. <laughs> The Hex ability is like the best one we've had so far. Because the thing is, it not only does a Krampus's head effect, it also applies Hex to them, like the Brimstone's Curse. Whatever you want to call it. Which is incredibly strong, because it means that you deal double damage to them. Oh my god, that creep hit me. Wow, okay. It's just, there's limited shops. I can't believe it can give you no shops so many times in a row. Like, look how much money we have with just... No way of spending it. And we are on depths one. We've only got one more potential shop remaining. That ability is just nuts. <laughs> How the fuck do I get... Okay, I, guess. I see, I see. Level up. Uh, counter spell, summon undead, witch bolt. I like the idea of summon undead. So I'm guessing the the you will pay for your sins thing is why we got an additional curse on the on the uh, last floor. So this floor, I'm thinking we'll have four curses again. Indeed, we do. They are unfortunately all a mystery to us. So let's try summon undead. Okay, that is literally as it sounds. It just... Oh, someone's quite a few. Okay. Someone's quite a few. Wow, okay. This is pretty good. Now, I'm wondering if they'll stick with us into the next room. I'm going to guess not. Holy shit. This is a very good ability. It just keeps summoning them. Wow. Okay. That's a good ability. Um, use Chaos Rupture in this room. Oh, we got a Healing Elixir. That's nice. Fear. I know I haven't really Shadow Blade, but honestly, Hex and Summon Undead might be our two go tos right now. It'd be nice if some of the spells were like cheaper cost and had some synergy so it was worth using more than one per room. That'd be kind of an interesting idea. I realize that these are based on D&D &D, um, spells though, so it might not be the best to actually balance and create whilst like, still keeping the theme. I don't know. I've played D&D, &D, but I don't know a ton about D&D, &D, to be honest. I've only played, like, one real, like, sort of long game of D&D. &D. It was a lot of fun, actually. I really enjoyed it. I played as a um, draconic illusionist. It was a lot of fun. I really like playing the illusionist. Illusionist is just really fun to me because you get some cool spells, but also... Um, oh my god, this enemy just won't stop puking babies. Um, like, you get, you get some really cool spells, but also... Dude... Is this guy an infinite enemy? Okay, no. He's robot he just rebirthed himself a few times. Um But yeah, um I really like the fact that as an illusionist, your abilities are useful both in and out of combat. I could use my abilities to trick enemies as well as to trick like random people we were talking to, or even people in my party if for any reason I ever needed to do so, which multiple times I did. Um, there was one person at our party that was like sort of the self-appointed leader, even though he wasn't really the leader. He just self-appointed himself the leader um, and liked to make decisions for the group or do things ag against the better judgment of the group. I, I, I 
Thank God I don't have to actually do this room. Um, and um, I would use my illusionary skills quite often to uh, to trick and mess with him. One time, I've told the story on my channel before, but some of you might not have heard it, so... Um, I want to see what we can re-roll this into. I'm just seeing if there's any other items we can get. Because this is my last chance to spend money. Okay, no. It was just, just this. And then... That is just a full heal plus a soul heart. Which I guess we might as well buy both right now. And then I guess we sleep for the... Um, Ability to refresh our mana. Um, but yeah. Um, oh, actually, did we gain plus one mana for doing that? I think we did. Um, I told this story on my actual episodes of Isaac before. But one of my favorite stories from our D&D &D campaign. Is that um, we were helping out this mining village. Um, th that unlocks the angel's door. Unlocks the devil's door. Okay. Um... We'll go with this one. And then it still, it still gives us a level up. Nice. Okay, so you can't do boss rushes this character, interestingly enough. It's just impossible to start boss rush. Okay. Devil deal. Um... The retreat seems interesting, potentially. I do want to go and bomb this guy again, just to see. Ah, the retreat just, like, gives you a bunch of speed and, and opens the doors. Interesting. But yeah, we're in this, like, mining town, and basically there was this, um... There was this village, uh, so this, sorry, this, this mine, that, um, was filling with, with toxic gas. And the it was where the mining uh, town like got most of its money from, so they they needed to find the source of it, and they knew that the source was um, was supernatural or unnatural to um, to the area. It wasn't it wasn't just that they'd like hit a vein or something like that. There was like something down there creating it, because um, people were like hallucinating and all sorts of stuff. So we 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 were just passing by, and we were hired to go down there and and take a look. Um, and we we found that sort of at the depths of this cave, there was kind of a big sort of circle that went all the way around the centerpiece. And then if as you as you went around the circle, it led to an entrance at the top where you could enter the center of the circle. Um, and in the center of the circle was this necromancer's tomb, and the necromancer had been awoken via uh, the, the the mining operations. I, I, like I think it was something along those lines, and. He was basically just defending his home, um, and he was some sort of ancient, long, long dead necromancer that had come back, and he was like warding people off with this gas. And so we were we were ordered to to kill and remove him, so they could people people could carry on with their day, which is fine. So we did that, and I got myself a nice cloak out of it and stuff. But then when we were leaving, um, when, we, when we sort of set ourselves to 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 go away. Um, our, th this person, the self-appointed leader guy, was, I apologize about my, my voice, I'm like burping and I don't want to burp. <laughs> um, he'd, he'd basically sort of, oh, what the hell? ID, persuasion. I didn't mean to do this. Okay. Um, yeah, so he, he basically was like, oh, hey guys, I want to. I want to, like, run around the, the circle a few more times and just make sure there's nothing we missed. But we were like, oh, come on, we want to go. Like, we can't, we can't really be arsed. Let's just, let's just move on. Uh, oh, we got another devil deal. Okay. Um, I think we want the healing elixir, don't we? How much does that heal for? Nothing. Not quite sure why that doesn't work. Maybe it has to be used in combat. I'm not sure. Um... And we were like, oh, for God's sake, okay, we'll, we'll let you do it. So what I did is I had a, a, a hat of disguise and I used my hat of disguise and my illusionary skill to um, basically also, we have insane fire rate right now. What is going on? Um, to basically trick him into believing that he'd been gone for like hundreds and hundreds of years and 
everyone else in our party had died, and I was the only one left, and I looked like a, a frail old man on on death's door. Um, and he had to, like, roll for checks to see if he fell for the trick, and he rolled, like, ones and twos, and I rolled, like, 19s, 18s, and 20s for all my dis disguise checks. So my disguise was, like, immaculate, and his perception of my disguise was truly awful, and he couldn't tell that, um, that I was faking it. And so he got really, really confused, and uh, then while he was talking to me, I feigned death and, and again used my illusionary skills to, to sort of fake that I'd just died. Um, so I can't remember exactly what I did now, but like I made it so that like to him, in his eyes, I'd actually stopped breathing and I went cold and stuff, um, even though it was just an illusion. And he again fell for a hook, line, sinker, and... As he was walking away, everyone else jumped out from around the corner and I took off my hat and revealed that it was all all just a trick. Um, and <laughs> because like it scared the shit out of his character, the dungeon master um, decided that for the rest of the campaign, from that event, he had to have PTSD. And it was like a minus to his... Um, I can't remember exactly what it was a minus to. It was a minus to two or three of his stats. And the only way that he could like fend it off was either by buying drugs to, to, to treat it or by, um, by like meditating regularly to like calm down his stress levels. It was pretty funny. Um, <laughs> and it's just, I love like the ability with, with illusionists to do sort of those role play scenarios that you wouldn't normally get the opportunity to do that, that make no progress in the actual campaign. They're completely useless when it comes to actually, um, actually progressing your campaign or progressing your character arc or whatever, but they're just fun. And I like stuff like that. It's it's great. They're just really entertaining. And that was like that was like my favourite memory from our D D campaign, definitely. I'm taking a bit more damage than I should be here, but I'm also like steamrolling the game. This ability is just nutty. It's just nutty. Um counter spell. I don't really think I need any more spells at this point. Okay, counter spell just did hex again. I'm not quite sure why why counter spell works that way. Let's go do hush. Why not? We've got the uh, the hex to to take him out. We'll see how it goes. I don't even know how hush will work with this character. Okay, it just gives us money. Not all that useful. I love it with the regret pedestals that you can see what the items would have been had they spawned. No shops for us, sadly. That's such a tease that it lets you in the shop. It's not even just like you can't unlock it. It actually lets you in the shop and it's like, ha 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 ha. No, no, no. Oh, this guy is roasted and toasted. Look how long this brimstone lasts. And I can just do it again. It's just redonkulous. Oh, you're gonna go underground, are you? Good for you. I've got more hex for you. This is the only spell we'd ever need. We should probably um, do our summon dead as well, though. Let's do that a few times. The summon dead seemed pretty good. There you go. They're all getting on him. Let's try the healing elixir while we're in combat. Okay, the healing elixir does work while we're in combat, so we'll use a few of those. Nice. Yeah, this character gets strong very quickly. Okay, we're all out of mana now, unfortunately. But I think you're all but dead. Are undead just swarming you. Good, good. Good, good. Up we go. So, I think I want to use the healing elixir in combat here. Why doesn't the healing elixir work sometimes? 
I've just used like tons of mana and it didn't do anything. I'm really not sure why that is. It's a little bit of a shame, really. Oh god, I just realized I took a lot of damage there. That was unintentional. Right. Get Hex again, I guess? Yeah, especially for you. Nice. Sadly, no health drops. Another luck upgrade, though. We're at nine luck. Wowee. That's a lot of luck, baby. Oh, it's just so satisfying. It lasts so long as well. I wonder how that shop works. I should go check that out. Okay. Is it full heal? Okay, no. I don't know what's going on with my healing. It might be one of my abilities that I've got where I, I'm unable to heal. One of my, like, negatives. Oh, God. This is a bad place to be trapped in. Ah, fuck. I didn't even see that. At least we had that soul heart, I guess. Gotcha. Boom. <laughs> Dead, Isaac. Dead. Oh, I can't even get in the chest. Oh, no, I can. I can. Okay. Still don't know where our abilities are here. Just a lot of money. But do you have Mega Satan here? Healing Elixir, do you work yet? You do. Okay. Let's just go straight for Mega Satan then. We've got a little bit... A little bit of mana left to work with. I think we want to summon undead straight away. And then... Uh, let's go with the armor as well. Just so we can charge up that. Use that here and there. And then... Oh, that was a very bad timing for me on this. Actually, no, that kind of worked out. That kind of worked out. Okay, that was a single use and it killed everything. That's just fine. That is just fine by me. The summon undead thing is just crazy. But it just keeps summoning them over and over and over. Oh, whoa, that was a cool brimstone attack. Okay, I think I'll save my other two bits of mana for the next phase. If I need them. Good, good. Look at all these guys. Right. I think it is time for you to be bested. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to take some damage here, but it's pretty much fine. And Hex again. Lovely. That was a cool fight. We got to use a good few spells there. And yeah, really, really fun character. I had a lot of fun with them. I'm going to end the run here. Um, really cool idea. Definitely could be built on more. I feel like this is a really unique idea. And I feel like adding that as an item to regular runs could also be really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the showcase, and I'll see you guys in the next one.